Welcome to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. It's been a while since I shot a video. I've been busy with uh, starting school, getting my degree. I've talked about before, working full time as a mental health coach. Yeah, like being busy, but you know what? When times are like this, I like to talk to you guys about what's important. And what's important, one thing we can talk about is self-compassion. You know, have you ever noticed or heard the cliche, we're harder on ourselves than we're on anybody else? If it was our best friend, we'd talk better to them than we talk to ourselves. Because we always expect the best for our, ourselves. We always expect ourselves to do better than what we're going through. It could be we wish we had a better job. We can be we wish we had a better relationship, career, finances, uh, school. It all happens that way. And because we failed at something we wish we would achieve better at. So I'm going to give you one good example. Starting back to school, I'm writing essays like crazy. I'm just tired of writing those that know me closely know I have. Par I get I'm sorry, <clears throat> I get paralyzed by writing anything. So if it's outside me, one or two sentences or a text, it's, I get paralyzed. So writing emails, paralyzed. Writing uh, five gra paragraph emails, paralyzed. Paralyzed past two sentences. So going back to school, they make us write essays all the time. I'm almost like tired of it, but it's okay. Because why it's okay, let me first explain why I got paralyzed, is that I'm overcome getting it right. My grammar, my grammar, my punctuation, things I decide to say that are not as good, or the flow is messed up, my wife tends to help me with it, and I, I, I'm like, okay, well, I wish I had better at that. I, I seem so small because I want to be good at it. I want to get it right the first time. Why have to wait? So what I noticed I started doing is that I was being hard on myself. I was being hard on myself because I wanted it right the first time. So, I started getting anxiety. I had dreamed about two days ago about failing in writing essay, and I haven't felt one yet. So this way, I would give myself more compassion. And learning that whatever I'm going through, I can get better. Whatever I'm going through, it's okay to feel that way. Whatever you're going through, it's okay to say, you know what? It's okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. It's okay. Because whatever you're going through is temporary, but we got to be more compassionate with ourselves because we wouldn't talk to our best friend that way. We wouldn't talk to our parents that way. No. So the same compassion we show others, we have to show ourselves. And that's how you get more compassion. Well, first, let's consider who teaches us self-compassion. Nobody. Think about kindergarten, first grade, second grade. At least when I went to school, there's no compassion. Just keep going. Mental toughness. Nowadays, things are changing. People are really realizing how important mental uh, bandwidth or mental toughness or all these cliches are not right, but they're actually wrong and how to get more mental health for yourself, self-compassion, mindfulness, things like that. So show yourself more compassion.